No, environment. I mean, we all live in an environment. We grew up, nice environment. Everybody go to college. Everybody go to school. You know, people have an argument. They talk it out. That's what the, our reaction is going to be based off of the environment and the things that we see and the things that we know we grew up into. In a ghetto, if I grew up and I see a motherfucker pop gilly and I see his expression, my reaction now is to get me a gun. So that shit won't happen to me. Or when somebody do come, I could be the one popping. So a lot of things we don't understand. We're trained in a certain way in the ghetto. And you you, you might see a young cat, you'd be like, damn, these motherfuckers. Why? A lot of this shit is based off of their reactions and the, and the fear that they had based off of the things that they see. So it's a reaction based off the environment. Mm -hmm. Your environment educates you on how you're supposed to move and how you're supposed to think, how you're supposed to look. So a lot of things that we're doing is based off the environment that we live in. <laughs> All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Muhammad Kakwadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. It is the brother Gabar Yahweh there from GMS Hawaii. And I want to come to you with a quick video. It's in response to this uh, short video. Or the short video clip that you just saw, this is from uh, two cousins. They have a you know a podcast called Million Dollar Worth of Game, and uh, it was inspired obviously because of this clip. And um, just to uh, like give you some understanding, you know, because uh, an inspiration, you know, because the scripture says, uh, as ye go, Yahweh Shai himself said which is in the scriptures, it says, as you go preach, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's an excerpt from the scripture. I think it's uh, uh, St. Matthew chapter 10, where the Lord gave the what you call the, the great commission. And he was telling them to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach his word. Okay, and uh, so when he was going to tell them when he was telling them this, what he was actually doing was sending them to send out good news, the gospel. You know, because in the kingdom of heaven, our environment is going to change. Our mindsets are going to change or are going to be changed. Okay? We're going to go from uh, having an internal war between the spirit and the flesh. And we're going to have uh, peace between the, our spirits and our new flesh because everything is going to be renewed for us you know our environment is going to change and the scriptures speak about that you see right now what we're doing we're going out and we're speaking and we're explaining to our people why the things are the way they are the reason why our environments that we live in are terrible the reason why you see death at an all time high and death is nothing new to you as you grow up you know, the reason why uh, there's instability within the homes between a man and a woman and even the children is because it's a direct result of us breaking the laws the statutes of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And it's not, I know we get on a white man, the so-called white man, and say, hey, he's to blame, which he is. But all, but in reality, in 100% in, in truth, it's the Heavenly Father that put us in this position for what? For our correction. You know? The reason why we are that, we are the so called last on the proverbial totem pole is because of our iniquities, man. That's a direct result. And when you put out wickedness, when you are in, when you take part in wickedness, there's a judgment for that. But then on the flip side of that, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to take all this and they're going to renew us, man. So real quick, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 6. And it says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into, the, into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, as thou very, very heavily laid thy yoke. Now, the why did I bring this scripture out? Because first, 
when the Heavenly Father scattered us amongst these different nations, okay, we got polluted because we are a separate and holy people. And the, the thing that got us into the situations that we in, living in these harsh environments, living um, without the law, statutes, and commandments, to guide our daily walk down here on earth, you know, actually at one point in time, we were missing the Lord's name, so we couldn't call on his name, was because of our disobedience. So the Heavenly Father did what? He scattered us across the four corners of the globe to these different nations, inside these different nations. These same nations that we were following after in the ancient world. And so the Heavenly Father said he polluted. He was wroth with his people. So in his wrath, that's what he did. He says, I have he says, I have I have polluted my inheritance. So as we lived amongst these different nations and did what they did and follow after their customs, we we begin to what to get polluted. So now when you go to the ghetto or when you go to places where the Israelites dwell at, they're in a polluted state. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be down here on the earth, when Yahweh Shai comes, when the Heavenly Father sends his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, we're not going to be polluted anymore. He's going to destroy this place, which is America, Babylon the Great. He's going to destroy our enemies, our chief enemy, which is the nation of Edom. Okay, starting off with uh, 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 America, he's going to destroy it completely with nuclear missiles and the fire of other chariots. And then we're going to enslave the elite of the nation of Edom and the rest of the elite of the other nations. And then those that are left, and those people are going to build up our kingdom. The scripture says, thus by violence shall that great city be thrown down. That great city is America. Okay? And so, again, these things are learned. And then also, too, the reason why Jake is all jacked up. You got to grab the strap everywhere you see your own brothers at. You know, you got to be on guard. And you got to, you know, that, that eye is evil. Those are the part of the curses, man. Well, in the kingdom, when the kingdom of heaven is established, Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to release us from those curses. He's doing it right now. You know, through through the hopeful elect. You know, practicing brotherly love, trust, love, honesty amongst each other. And you see how the spirit flows amongst us. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, that spirit is going to be magnified and it's going to flow through all of Israel. We're not going to be polluted no more. This is uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. Now I hope that you brothers and you select Aqua the Father's lesson to be edifying. It's Isaiah chapter 60, verse um, Yep, 15. It says, Where as where where as thou has been forsaken and hated. So that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Right? Because why doesn't any man go through us? When we look that when we go when that what that means is where we dwell at, no none of these other nations, you know, dare to set foot or even live with us or be around us, except if they're exploiting us, taking our money, uh, selling us uh cheap merchandise for expensive prices and terrible food abominations which that's all a part of exploiting us these other nations they don't come to where we at unless they come to look down on us you know unless they come to to take what we have that's the only time so we were forsaken when you go to the ghettos when you go to 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 to, to reservations when you go to the El barrios or you go to countries where our people dwell at in a number man those places look forsaken they are deserts they're wastelands our people are our people are mourning our people are in a, a state of uh destruction man you know you go to the south you go to south america all you see is the cartels and what are they doing man they're they're pushing out drugs they're manufacturing drugs they're basically the manufacturing arm of the edomites to create these large quantities of so-called illegal drugs 
and they push it around the world. Well, in doing that, it's a violent business. So what you have, you got Jake killing each other. You got Jake destroying each other. Jake is an abject poverty. It's not only in America. Yeah, the, the tribe of Judah, which are the so-called Negroes here in America, we get a bad rap and we look upon the earth as, you know, the scum of the earth, you know. <clears throat> but that shit is happening heavy in countries where we dwell at and and, and the majority. You know, you go to you go to Brazil. What is down there, man? The favelas is a, is a straight up abject poverty ghetto environment, violent, hostile. They just like you in Chicago, they go to sleep with gunfire, wake up with gunfire. Same thing. Okay? It's the same thing. Alright? Well, in the kingdom of heaven, the Heavenly Father gonna flip it. He gonna make where we live at and where we stay at a, a eternal a, a eternal excellency, man. You know? People gonna wanna come to where we at. These nations gonna wanna follow us and learn of our ways. Just like we were following after them, trying to learn their ways. It's gonna, the roles gonna be switched and reversed. Because we're going to be 100% righteous. This is staying in the same chapter. When you read, it says, uh, going down, it says, uh, verse 18, violence shall no more be heard in thy land. And right, because like we just was just explaining, and in different places where we live at, violence is always heard there, man. I just saw, uh, I just saw a, a, a video of in Chicago, like 14 people got shot up at a funeral, man, where a dude, he died from a drive-by. So there was a drive-by at a, at a funeral where where there was a there was a drive-by at a funeral where the, the person that they had holding the funeral, funeral for, he, he died in a drive-by, man, you see? So <coughs> wherever we live at, violence is, is always heard there. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, there's not going to be no violence in our habitation, man. This is uh, violence. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, right? There ain't going to be no violence in our land. There ain't going to be no black-on-black -black crime. There ain't going to be no brown-on-brown uh, uh, -brown crime. None of that. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation in, the, in thy gates. Praise. You see? In the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be down here on the earth, I have to keep saying that to let you, to give you understanding. It's not a mythical place. It's going to be a physical place, spiritual place, right down here on earth, man. All right? But thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates peace, man. You see? There's another scripture. Let me look at this word up. Habitation. Yep, this is, um, this is, uh, just be with me, brothers. This is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18. Um, yep, this is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18. It says, And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in sure dwellings. And in quiet and in, a, and in and in quiet resting places, man. So when the Lord establishes us back in our own land, we're gonna it's gonna be beautiful, man. It's gonna be peace. It ain't gonna be no more our environment is not gonna dictate um on us to be or cause us to be evil or ill or violent towards one another. Our 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 environment is gonna be what? A peaceable habitation. And in, and it says and shore dwellings, right? Because where we live at today, there's no shore dwelling. We renting, you know what I'm saying? You one month away from poverty, you one month, <clears throat> you one one check away from living in the streets, man. If you miss your rent, hey, you gonna have you gonna, you're, you could possibly be evicted, man. You have a whole family, you have possessions, all of that could be gone in a minute, especially with this financial uh this so-called financial uh uh dollar this dollar that we use 
in this economic system that's that that's about to be you know destroyed and then they're gonna push the RFID chip which the market beast onto the people as a new currency so down here we don't have no shore dwellings man well in the kingdom we're gonna have shore dwellings we're gonna go from living in uh tenements on top of each other directly next to each other to to, to having palatial palaces and it's gonna be peace it ain't gonna be no no violence in our where we live at man our children gonna grow up in a clean environment their have our habitation is gonna be a hundred percent a hundred percent righteous it's not even gonna be no animals killing each other bro there's not the animals that kill each other now if they if, if one seed is the other that's not gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven and the scripture says what that there's going to, the, the the lion is going to lay down, okay, with the with the sheep, man, and it's, the lion is going to eat the hay, the like oxen, man. You see, so it ain't going to be no killing, no killing, nobody dying, nobody uh, uh, fearful for their life. You know, brothers not going to look at brothers with an evil eye. Oh, I got to pack my gat because this nigga going to try to get over me. Ain't going to be none of that where we live at, man. Again. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places. Right now, there's constant noise. You gotta you go to sleep, lay down, motherfuckers driving down the street, blaring music at two o'clock in the morning, man. With no regard for the people that gotta get up and and, and, and or that are in that area, man. People busting firecrackers at, at all kinds of night, hearing gunshots people dying and screaming that's not going to be the case in the kingdom of heaven man the Lord's going to switch our environment but before he does that he's switching our spirit and he's creating us to be what righteous preparing us to, to, to enter into his glorious kingdom okay because not only our environment is our environment going to be changed but our minds our hearts our bodies are going to be changed man so it says um, also too, Isaiah 33 and 20 It says, look upon Zion The city of our solemnities Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem A quiet habitation A tabernacle that shall not be taken down Not one of the stakes thereof Shall ever be removed Neither shall any of the, of the cords Therefore be broken So our kingdom will be established Our dwelling places, our environment Our um our um, place of rest is going to be eternal. No, no, nobody's going to come in and overtake us. There ain't going to be no Edomites bringing war. None of these other nations bringing war to us. None of that, man. And so our environment is going to make, not only is our spirit and our bodies going to be righteous, but our environment is going to be righteous. And that's what I kind of wanted to, you know, do this lesson on, you know. And I really hope that it was edifying. You know, uh, I want to give all praise to Adam and Glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakadash, say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And citations to my fellow Aki, keep pushing, keep striving. We're almost out of here. Inshallah.